the Mavericks in Dallas, Texas for a little interconference action here at the American Airlines Center. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. There's no question this game will put them to the test. Facing off against a team that has every expectation of beating them, they'll need to play a complete game to snare a win. Yeah, and, and they're coming to this game also looking for payback after dropping the last one. They play each other just twice this season, and they certainly do not want to be swept. Certainly not. And when you look at these two teams, they are very evenly matched. You know they'll want revenge tonight after losing the last game earlier this season. Now the starting group for Baltimore. Michael Porter's out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then it's Ball. Then there's Bell. And it's Bogdanovich in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Doncic. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball. Porzingis finds Doncic. No good on the three. And here's Cousins. He'll bring it up for the Barons. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Greg, we're still involved in the conference system. Does it hold relevance as we're looking here at the standings mid-season? You know, for travel distance, yes. And, and there's also some tradition at stake. I, I mean, look, the, that said, in a perfect world, you'd like to see the best 16 teams make the playoffs each year. But we've had, you know, imbalance in conferences forever so that's not going to change uh, but sometimes change is just necessary how about quickly for the playoffs would you like to reseed and take the top 16s one through 16 I would I think that'd be a great idea <laughs> now Brunson Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach for Baltimore, and at the top of coach's to-do list is figuring out how to deal with the Kristaps Porzingis mismatch. Coach says Porzingis can be a nightmare to defend because of his height and shooting. If we go big, he'll drag our rim protectors away, but if we go small, he shoots right over us. And that's why KD referred to him as the uniform. Thank you, David. An average shooter from deep, it, it's important that Doncic continues to work on this part of his game. There's Ball with the three. That shot, no good. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Uh, they play terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. I love the communication. Love the hustle. They came up with big stops all night. Now here's Brunson. For the finish. And Ball slams it in. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Runs in the pass to Persingas. And here is Kleba. Now, here's Doncic. He's got five. Here's Cousins. Right side, ball. Back to Cousins. Six to shoot. Here's Bogdanovich. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. It's Porter outside. A shot missing. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Goes up from the top of the key. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Baltimore. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And that jump shot by Porter is pure. Uh, has such a fluid shooting motion and dallas calls their first time out of the game and just trying to get some traction offensively boy it hasn't been pretty you know this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit you can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result
approach the halfway mark, let's take a look at how everything stands out west. You look at Dallas. A lot of season they've assembled here, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And you know, for the Mavericks, they're not an opponent any team wants to see on their schedule. They've been producing all season long. And guys, I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. Now, here's Doncic. Five points in the game. Buries the long-range jumper. Doncic has got a couple of threes now in the first for the man. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Bell. Outside, ball. For three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Just batting for Baltimore. They won that game against the Washington Wizards. And there's the call. That's it's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Now, here's Ball. Outside, Porter. Pass to Bell. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Dallas. Here's Persingas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Shooting two. That free throw good from Porzingis. Both free throws good for Porzingis. Baltimore trails by three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Brute strength of Cousins. Defenders draped all over him, and he simply brushes them off. Brunson kicks to Kleba. Cousins against Porzingis. Passes it to Brunson. Now, here's Doncic. Just five to shoot. From 18 feet away. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Cousins dishes the ball. Back to Cousins. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. As much as today's game is being played on the perimeter, it's good to see Cousins attacking inside. Now, here's Kleba. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The pass to Brunson. Andrews outside. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Doncic has got 10 points. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. And Cousins kicks to Bell. Ball feeling it out a bit. And Cousins throws it down. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Persingas. Pass to Brunson. Doncic against Bogdanovich. 
Pulls up. That one off the back iron and out. So it's the Barons now. Here's Cousins. No good from outside. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They trail by one. Now here's McDaniel. Guarded by Porter. McDaniels kicks to Brunson. To the paint. And the rejection by Cousins. He is so reliable. DeMarcus making a play and making it look easy. Bogdanovich finds Porter. Shoots over McDaniel. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Jaden McDaniel. It's his first trip to the line. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. throw good Porter the importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now and in your eyes there are some players who are just absolutely dead solid perfect from distance no doubt about it and, and you know there's three guys to me though that kind of separate themselves uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start start talking about having a guard the three-point line here's Morris following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis stolen by Van Vliet Morris with the block Doncic against Porter and here's Evans Morris outside just five on the clock. Kicks it to Porter. From deep, Evans. That one, no good. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Here's Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. Now, here is Morris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Stolen by Van Vliet. Now the Mavericks moving it up. And there's the lay-in. And now a three-point Dallas lead. Amazing effort by Fred Van Vliet. He's up the court so fast to finish that play. It's Porter's atop the key. Doncic against Porter. And the wide-open shot for Morris. Drains it from beyond the arc. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Porzingis. Van Vliet outside. Donjic outside. Clock at four. Releases from 15. That's good on the jump shot. Donjic has got 14. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Pass to Porter. Cloak loose. Pass break, Dallas. Donjic leading the charge. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Evans and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Luka Doncic. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Baltimore shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game.
first one falls for him. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. And a switcher also for Baltimore. Martin's checked in for Porter. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Knocks it loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wright. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for him. Morris with the ball. Evans outside. And the pass to Fortis. Got a piece of it. But he stays with it. And it's tipped and stolen by Wright. And now here comes Wright leading the break. Lays it in off the breakaway. And the Mavericks lead by two. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. For Baltimore, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Free throw good for Morris. Thirty-nine left to play in the first. Evans kicks to Morris. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Wright looking around. Pass to Curry. Back to Wright. Pass to Cannon. Lock at six. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And really inside the paint is where Cantor thrives. His dominant approach lets him just own that space. Martin up top, guarded by Kirk. And it's blocked. Right, left side. Another three for Dallas. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Clock management. This is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. On the wing, Evans. Covered by Van Vliet. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Dallas will take possession. the Mavericks with possession here. Six-point game. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. The Mavericks have gone two for two in the game at the line. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. He's gone from undrafted to a champion. Fred Van Bleet has come a long way, and he's not done yet, in my opinion. Now, here is Morris. Sixteen seconds left in the first. Six on the shot clock. Evans outside. And again, unable to change momentum here. Got it off in time, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Dallas in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Right back after this break.
second quarter and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And what do you think, guys, about Dallas here in this one? Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands. And they took advantage of some careless ball handling, some careless passing. You have to be more careful around these guys. Baltimore trails by nine. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play on the court for the Mavericks. They've got Wright. Ennis Cantor is out there with Porzingis. Then it's Brett Van Vliet, and it's Curry in at the small forward spot. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. That's good from Evans. Both free throws, good for Evans. The Barons come into this one after the win against the Wizards in Washington. Morris against Van Vliet. Passes it to Persingas. It's blocked. Morris against Van Vliet. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Free throw good for Morris. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And Morris drops them both. Mavericks leading by five. Outside Curry. It's right on the wing. No good. Shot missing. Great D that time from Portis. On the wing, Evans. Nice shot from the wing. Evans has got four points this quarter. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Curry is inside. Defended by Portis. Curry's shot is off. Baltimore trails by three. Here's Evans. Mavericks with the rebound. Persingas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Curry with it. Guarded now by Morris. Pulls it up. And it falls over the rim and in. Curry's got his first basket of the night. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Van Vliet outside. There's the pass to Cantor. Now Curry. Shot clock at six. Van Vliet outside. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Cantor trying to free himself up. Porzingis can't hit. Here are the Barons. Only given up two points this quarter. Van Vliet against Martin. They get a hand on it. Oh, 
Baltimore needs to get off a shot here. And it's Evans missing. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And good that time. And now a seven-point Maverick lead. Timeout is called. First of the game for Baltimore. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Some changes here for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Przingis. McDaniels comes in for Seth Curry. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Fred Van Vliet. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Baltimore moving that ball around. Ball no good. Mavericks leading by seven. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Brunson the pass to Cannon. Martin. The shot's good from Cantor. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Outside ball. Pass to Cousins. Back to ball. From outside the arc. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Ball's got his second bucket of the night. One of the best passes at the center position. Just another way Cousins affects scoring. Brunson finds Kleba. Cousins with it. Now right defended. And it's Baltimore on the break. Throws up. The dunk and the bow. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. That's on Ennis Cantor. You know, when we talk about DeMarcus, we talk about his temper but also his relentlessness on the offensive end, unmatched. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intent. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different uh, you better bring your A-game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> now here's Brunson. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Doncic. Six on the shot clock. But they recover it. Kleba. And Kleba slams it in. Super work on the What's boards. <laughs> They really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you've got him on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. What's up? Baltimore trails by six. Outside ball. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Brunson. Passes it to Doncic. Ball with the rebound. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Brunson Bell with the block quick off the floor Jordan Bell saying not right now sends it out of here 
A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. And it's the Mavericks with the ball following the three-pointer by Baltimore. Back to Doncic. And stolen by Bogdanovich. It's two on one. Martin kicks to Bogdanovich. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. On the wing, Doncic. He's covered by Bogdanovich. To the inside. Here's Cantor. A second chance effort. Baltimore with the rebound. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Here's Ball. That misses off the backboard. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. McDaniels passes to Brunson. Pulls up on the wing. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Bogdanovich. Doesn't go that time. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Here's Brunson. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got six rebounds here tonight. Ball kicks to Mark. And there's the pass to Cousins. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. He's a big man with terrific balance. DeMarcus takes the hit and still able to convert. Runs in the pass to Kleba, and it's Cousins with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Baltimore making a switch here. Porter's checked in. to Kleba and stolen by Cousins and it's Baltimore on the break it's good now he's shooting six for seven DeMarcus has a deep arsenal if you got somebody that's going good give him free reign let him run and the Mavericks call time here one of the stories here Cousins getting it done the man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. now they trail by one and it's ball in the corner goes back up and cousins with the lay-in cousins has got 15 points again and again they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside pass to Cannon. pass to brunson Doncic with it. He's covered by Bogdanovich. On the clock to end the cold streak. It's tipped. He feeds it to Porter. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got six rebounds in the game. Brunson 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The Mavericks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Porzingis has checked in for the Mavericks. Good on the second free throw. Here's Ball. Five points in the game. Outside Bogdanovich. Misses the three. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you see they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Here are the Barons. They're on a 15-6 run. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds. The Barons able to retain possession here. And the Mavericks making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. And a switch here also for Baltimore. Evans is checked in. On defense, Dallas. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul his third foul of the game and that's his third foul the chance you take leaving him in with two let's see if they'll sit him now until the half bell against porzingis knocks it loose porzingis with the steal and now the fans break Doncic with the ball over in the corner mcdaniels van vliet outside And here is McDaniel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shot clock at five. And Fred Van Vliet gets the three. And now it's a three-point Maverick lead. No hesitation from Fred Van Vliet. Assertive off the catch and shoot. Up again. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Here's Dallas. Passes to Kleba, and it's Cousins with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Baltimore making a switch here. Doncic outside. Back to Van Vliet. Five to shoot. Poke loose. Porter with the steal. And it's Baltimore on the break. Porter's running. Right side, ball. And the rejection by Curry. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Van Vliet. Baltimore with the rebound. Inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here's Van Vliet. Ten points for him. Back to Doncic. Outside for Curry. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Curry's got five points so far. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult pass to Roby. Now Portis. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Van Vliet. To the middle. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniel. He's heady. He's unselfish. All Van Vliet does is make winning plays. Here's Roby. To the inside. 
inside. Portis. Goes up on the block, and the bank shot is good. Portis has got his first two points of the night. The Mavericks leading. Outside Curry. He kicks it to Doncic. Let's the three fly. Hangs home the trifecta. Doncic has got five points in the quarter. And, and guys, the intelligence is evident. When, when the pick comes, Doncic often makes the right read. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Porter looking it over. Dishes it to Evans. Shoots over Doncic. Misses off the right iron. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's Dallas as they end the second quarter on a 14-6 run. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 19 points, three rebounds, and one steal. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, one area where they have had the upper hand is scoring off the bench. When the second unit guys have come in, they've brought a lot of energy with them. And that's what you need from your reserves. Energy. And they gave a lot of energy and a big jolt. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. The thing I like is their aggressive approach and getting to the line. You know, when things seem to stagnate on offense, it's sometimes a matter of forcing your will. This team can generate a lot of points and also dictate the pace of the game if they play with that aggressiveness. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Barons. It's a five-point game, setting the floor for the Barons. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Michael Porter. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then there's Bell. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Brunson, no good. Doncic against Bogdanovich. Nice D from Porzingis. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Out of bounds. It'll be Mavericks ball. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. Donchich with it. Pass to Persingas. Here's McDaniels. Jacks up a three. Baltimore with the rebound. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. Bogdanovich passes to Cousins. And they double up Cousins. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. They get a hand on it. Hutchinson with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Pass to Kleba. Back to Brunson. Passes it to Persingas. Doncic with it. Let's it fly. And that one goes long. Ooh, they've come out ice cold 
to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Here's Doncic following the bucket by Baltimore and stolen by Bogdanovich. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Luka Doncic as we approach the fourth quarter. Still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. throw good Bogdanovich and we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now it's tipped outside for Zingas Kleba against Cousins Kleba the pass to Doncic six to shoot and again Dallas turns it over still looking for their first bucket of the second half Right, he's checked in for Dallas. Baltimore on offense. Good momentum, eight straight points. Bogdanovich, and Bogdanovich throws it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And the Mavericks call time here. You look at DeMarcus Cousins, what a contribution. I mean, he continues to burn them with his scoring. And the coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And right kicks to Brunson. Outside for Zingas. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. Brunson the pass to Persingas. And here is McDaniel. scanning the floor. Lock at six. Now the pass to Persingas. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And then on Sunday. And just look at ahead to what's on tap. There are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Pass to Cousins. Back to Bell. Baltimore moving that ball around. Adonovich, no luck. Average trail by five. Pass to McDaniels. Gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. And the rejection by Cousins. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's 
Porzingis with fast break chance over Bell. They can't stop the run with that one. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Now here's Cousins. The Mavericks pull it in. Nick Daniels got five rebounds tonight. Out to the right wing. Now Brunson. Passes to right. And here is Kleba. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Kleba, no good. That was the best he could do. Just fade a little bit, try and get a clean look, but the defense was right on him. Porter passes the ball. Back to Porter. And a miss there on the triple. Mavericks trailed by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. With some arc, and it's laid in by time Brunson. Out, and with those points, he puts an end to that 10-0 run by Baltimore. Timeout call, the Barons. Dallas. Ennis Canner's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Seth Curry comes in for McDaniels. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Jalen Brunson. Then for Baltimore, Martin's checked in for Porter. And Monte Morris subbed in for Bogdanovich. No good from Cousins. And so it's Perzingis. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. And that one drops for him. Now just a one-point Baltimore lead. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. A pass to Martin. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. The Mavericks trailing. Van Vliet looking around. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Now, here's Portis. Back to Morris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clearly a foul. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Mavericks trail by four. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got ten. The wide open look here for Perzingis. Knocks down the three ball. Perzingis has got seven points. The reflexes on Porzingis can surprise you. For a big, he plays with great quickness. A three from Morris. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got four rebounds now tonight. Porzingis passes to Van Vliet. Morris with the block. And he gets it back. It's Evans on the wing. to Roby. Shoots over Van Vliet. Again, the miss by Baltimore. Well, it's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Dallas. To the paint for the lead. And the rebound goes to Martin. Here are the Barons. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Martin. Portis kicks to Morris. And here's Evans. Six points for him. Outside Portis. Six on the shot clock. On the wing, Morris. Makes it off the glass. He's got ten. Great look by Portis. For a young player, he really understands what they're trying to do. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Dallas. Outside, Brzingis. Cantor trying to free himself up and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. Baltimore with the ball. They lead by one. Curry against Evans. Outside Portis. Pass to Morris. From past the arc. That one no good. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Here's Van Vliet. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Morris looking over the floor. A floater. Porzingis with the block. And with his lift, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Now here's Curry. He's got seven. Back to Van Vliet. Feeds it to Cantor. And the layup's good off the glass. And now a three-point Dallas lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got six rebounds in the game. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Back to Porzingis. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. At 7-3, Porzingis is almost impossible to guard, especially when he's focusing on trying to score. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. That free throw good from Porzingis. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Doncic comes in for Wright.
and good on the second, so he makes them both. Baltimore trails by five. They could use a big time shot time here time. to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And Baltimore calls time here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. by Van Vliet. Bogdanovich against Doncic. Taken away. And here we go. Fast break for he's got it. Count that one from Van Vliet. I need a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now here's Portis. Morris outside. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Van Vliet. And the Barons making a change here. Cousins is checked in. on the clock. Bogdanovich, no luck. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Fred Van Vliet, a weapon from the outside, has a great shot that he can pull up at a moment's notice. He's consistent on catch and shoots as well as off the dribble. Here's Morris after Luka Doncic's bucket. Outside Portis. Bogdanovich finds Cousins. Looking to end the run. Oh, that's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Mavericks with the rebound. Persingas has got 11 rebounds in the game. He can't get anything to fall this quarter. And obviously, that's dragging the whole team down. Now here's Van Vliet. And the dunk by Persingas. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. Kleba and the rejection by Cousins. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for Baltimore. Down by 12. Some coaches might not like taking the three on the fast break, but he had the open look and buried it. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Cousins against Porzingis. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Nineteen seconds left in the third quarter. Doncic against Evans. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
No good. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Mavericks leading by nine. We've got Jalen Brunson. Curry is out there with McDaniels. Then there's Doncic, and it's Kleba in its center. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Passes it to Evans. Portis in the post. Kleba on him. Nice shot by Portis. Must put a body on Portis. He loves to crash the offensive glass. Here's Brunson. McDaniels passes to Kleba. And here's Doncic from the arc. Drills it from outside. Doncic has got 24. Continuing for where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. Outside, Porter. Back to ball. Cousins with it. And there's the pass to ball. Kicks it to Evans. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's McDaniels. Curry trying to break free. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. And the rejection by Curry. They get it back. The kick out to Porter. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got five assists in the game. And you already see the great range of calling card of Porter's, even back in high school, shot 47% as a senior. Now here's McDaniel. Now Doncic. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Porter. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And how about the strength from the big fella? Porter is used to having to power through contact. Mavericks making a switch here. Rosinkas has checked in. Jordan Bell's checked in for Baltimore. throw good Porter and there have been some to compare Porter to Kevin Durant and really a fluid shooter who also possesses amazing athleticism now here's Brunson just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter pass to Kleba pulls it from 20 they get it back Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Here's Ball. It's rebounded by Dallas. They've held a 12-point lead early. Porzingis, that's a two. No good on that one. And the Barons the other way now. And Porter, here we go. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And just using those long strides to just kind of knife through the teeth of the defense. Porter daring them to hit him on that one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw missing. <laughs> and the 
the second free throw. Good. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Doncic against Evans. And a shot by Kleba. Wide open. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. And Bell kicks the ball. Pass to Cousins. The kick out to Porter. Shot clock at five. Bell, he dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. If I had Bell's hops, I'd be confident, too. That's a reason to be confident. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Runs in the pass to Persingas. Dallas moving it around. Doncic feeling it out. Five on the clock. Down low. And Doncic throws it down. It has the vertical needed to dunk it. Doncic showing off the power and flair that he possesses. Brunson against Ball. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Brunson. For the finish, the fast break ends at the rim with the jam. Love the recognition. Realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. Hell up on top. Outside ball. Pass to Cousins. No good that time. Nice D from Porzingis. Corner Doncic. Hop pass to Porzingis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Here's Evans. And Evans with a stuff. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. Johnson with a clean look. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. And that'll be his third foul so far. Bogdan Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Baltimore. Baltimore trails by five. To the paint. Here's Bell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Side for Zingas. Doncic trying to get open. They get it back. Yep, that one goes. Doncic has got nine points now in just the second half. Baltimore with the ball. Now here's ball. Cousins inside. David defending. Ball dishes to Porter. And it's tonight break Dallas and Doncic gets it to go and now a seven point Maverick lead down the stretch this is when they need him the most and he is delivering pass to Bell tipped away stolen by Brunson and here's the fast break oh and he plucks it off the glass wow And here is McDaniel. Back to Doncic. Six to shoot. And another basket for Dallas. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, here's Ball. The pass to Bogdanovich. And rejection by McDaniel. 
the battle, they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Brunson finds Doncic. Let's a floater go, and that's two points on the way up. Doncic has got 34 points. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Cousins. Over Kleba. Again, the miss by Baltimore. Mavericks leading by 11. Doncic outside. Loose and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Mavericks now. Here's Brunson. Four on the shot clock. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And Baltimore calls time here. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the arc. They have to find a way to cool him down. player of the game, Luka Doncic. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Baltimore's head coach talked to his team during the timeout. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? And at 6'10", Porter is a threat to score inside, which is why the defense is trying to rough him up a bit. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Porter drops them both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Munson with it. Outside for Zingas. Over Bell. And another basket for Dallas. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Cousins. The shot, no good. Nice D from Porzingis. And they double up Doncic. Upside, Porzingis. Good. 
and the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Just a little too aggressive. His fifth foul of the night. Expect them to go right at him to try to pick up number six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Hard work pays. We see that with Jordan Bell. You've got to do it and continue to do it. There is no limit on being a professional. And so Bell nails both of them. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Pass to McDaniels. Now Porzingis, defended by Bell. Porzingis passes to Doncic. Baltimore with the rebound. Cousins has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Doncic against Bogdanovich. To the inside. Kleba. And Kleba slams it in. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Ball, the bounce pass. Here's Cousins. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Porzingis. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. Outside, Bogdanovich. Cousins trying to free himself up. Bogdanovich, no luck. And here are the Mavericks now. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Runs in the pass to Persingas. Here's Kleba. Dallas moving the ball around. And that one, good. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Mavericks. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Luka Doncic. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. He spent his Steve Kerr talked about how Michael Jordan scared his teammates into becoming better players. Would that kind of approach, you think, work today with players entering the league? You know, I think you have to be careful, yes. But I think on a general, if you're looking at a just a blank sheet of paper on how to get guys motivated, I think it takes leaders, which it starts with ownership, management, coach, and best players. If they work hard and they see the blueprint that way, they usually follow. A different look for Dallas. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Harkless comes in for McDaniels. And it's Justin Anderson in for Doncic. Here's Clemens. Outside Portis. Passes it to Martin. Five to shoot. There's the pass to Clemens. We have a step back. It's rebounded by Porzingis. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Brunson finds Anthony. Now Harkless. Now Brunson. Here's Anthony. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Inspired 
tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Here's Clemens. Up top, Portis. Headed by Porzingis. That's a two from Martin. No good, unable to end this run. Now here's Anthony. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long.